Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Odin Crown. Now, this is a MOBA game with a little bit of PvE and a PvP. Now, I used to have an account for this, but I kind of didn't know how to link the game to an account, so yeah, I pretty much lost it, which is unfortunate. So, I'm starting anew today, and I'm going to be showing off the game a little bit. So, let's get to it. This game is made by um, Gene. Game Jeans? Pretty sure that's who they are. Now, this isn't global. This is a Japanese MOBA with a little bit of PvP and a PvE aspect to it. So, if I'm correct, it starts off like really easy inside of the PvE category. Then it gets really, really more challenging. All right, I forgot. I already have my keys ready. All right, so I can use that ability. It's telling me all about cooldowns and on my ability I can use. Get out of here. Alright, they're out the way, and our last one is ability we can only use like once per match. And that's our burst force, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But you can only use it at level 7 apparently. Sadly, I had to uninstall Nox and reinstall Nox, so I haven't played this game in like a few months. So I don't plan on uninstalling it <laughs> anymore. I'm gonna try not to. All right, so I got both. Good. Now here's where you can summon different characters. They give us one free summon, so let's see what we get. Three summons. Seems like they're all gonna be three star. Now. Any summon has a chance of giving you um, a new character. Some of them are just straight up equipment you can equip to your characters. So I got a new character here. Now in this game people say you can reroll if you want to, but there really isn't a point to reroll in this game. Especially since mostly all the characters are earned by gold or by summon. And it's really easy to get gold for a character that you want. It's not really all that much of a struggle. So here's where you go to your equipment and equip a new weapon. And here's a quick equip. You know, just like auto equipping different type of weapons. These are abilities, but I'm not sure what they do. If anything, you could probably find like a wiki or something that will translate everything. Or you'll find somebody who will translate it in the future. I'm really hoping this game does get a global. I'm not a huge fan of mobile games. I, MOBAs just don't fit me. But this one was actually pretty interesting just because I saw it had a PvE aspect to it. And you guys know I'm all about that. Even though I would love to, to battle like people in here but last times I've tried the PvP inside of this game it wouldn't really find a match or I couldn't just figure it out it was like really annoying so I just stuck with the PvE aspects to it which was actually still pretty fun either way so here are, are our rewards you get 10,000 gold and 2050 gems that you can use and as you log in you get more so the first thing I recommend whenever you make this account well account you want and get a good roll if you're planning on re-rolling is link your account that's the most important thing I can tell you figure out how to link it uh, here's my first summon let's go ahead and do that 
see what we get. Oh, we got a gold page. Oh, we only got one gold page. Got a new character, though. Who is it? Oh, you're weird. Never seen you before. I do remember a little bit about the game. I can say that. We got that guy. Who's this? Oh, no, that's just a weapon? That's unfortunate. He looks strange. He looks like that dude from Blood Brigade. If you guys have actually seen that anime. So it really doesn't matter um, if you play with a 3 star or 4 star or 5 star. It really doesn't matter. And if you guys get a duplicate, it turns into a thousand gold or higher depending on the rarity. If it's 3 star and you get a duplicate, it's a thousand. So yeah. I can go ahead and get my rewards from here. I don't understand why it doesn't go to the top when you finish. Alright. So basically you're going to be getting through this pretty easily. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first stage is fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Then the second one is fighting... Well, I think the second one is still fighting one-on-one. -on -one, but the opponent is like sort of a tank. Then I'm pretty sure stage three is... Three-on-three? Three? The stage four is five-on-five. Five, if I remember that correctly. Huh, I guess he doesn't show up on the first first stage. But yeah, there are quite a lot of characters that you can look at their abilities and see how they look. I'm not so sure on like <laughs> knowing what they do, though that's kind of the tricky part. I haven't ran into a forum yet, but I can check and see if there is one. Give me a second. Alright, from what I see, there is no, like, actual, like, wiki or translations at the moment. So, if there are any translators out there who's trying to get some exposure or something like that, uh, this is going to be a great game for you guys to, like, try and translate and, you know, help out other players with. Especially if you're really interested in MOBAs. For some reason, they do have an auto option to where you can just let the game play by itself, which... If you go on AFK, I guess that would be fine. But most mobile, like mobile games, have that. There will always be that like auto effect in play. All right, take out that guy. We're gonna need our second skill. All right, gotcha. So the first stage is just pretty much either. Destroy your opponent or destroy the tower. Pretty sure that's just how 1v1s go. Which there is actually a PvP option to 1 on 1. And I think there is 3 on 3. And there is 5 on 5. I'm pretty sure. Let's go check. Oh no, there's just 1 on 1. And 5 on 5. 5 on 5 is just your normal average MOBA. 1 on 1 is just pretty much a straight bridge fight. Pretty much the one League of Legends has. Where everybody sells their beef. <laughs> and then there is a shop where you straight up buy the character you want to play. Which really doesn't cost that much. Even 5 stars are actually pretty cheapish and are actually pretty easy to work towards so yeah all you gotta do is really just play the game and just pretty much earn from there you can even get equipment easy without summoning so yeah not bad you can get runes for your masteries 
and different costumes cost um, actual gems. Just to keep that in mind, guys. And I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, let's go back to PvE. I'm pretty sure I said this. I'm not really sure. It really doesn't matter whichever rarity you use, as long as you're good with it and as long as you know their abilities very well. The only difference between them, I think, is a, just a tiny bit of an increase inside of their specialties. Uh, like, there would be like a three star with the max of like an A rank attack. Then, when there's a five star, it has a like. I guess I would show it. I guess that would be more simple. Oh, God. Yep, he was doing quite the number on me. Ah, that missed? How? Nope, no, 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 no. Run, run, run. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna put back and go heal. That's the first time that guy's <laughs> actually done that much damage to me. I guess it's the minions that are actually tearing me up right now. Or maybe it's just because I didn't get like really good geared in my roll. Oh, he cancelled my um Second attack. What the hell, man? You have to calm down. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I forgot to do was uh, update my gear since I did get a better one. You can get some one-star characters through story as well. Alright. Stage one is done. Now we're just going to go on to a more difficult 1v1 against a tank. Uh, I think I'm going to skip that one and we're going to head on to stage 3 and we'll see you guys there. But like I was saying, as you can see here, this guy's like max attack is just A. This guy's attack is just A. Uh, who else is this hacker? Ah, eh, hers is kind of pretty low. Yeah, just like a little bit of different in stats a little bit. But then again, all of them have like mismatch stats. Like hers, she just has a really low specialty. HP and stuff. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. It, they're just all unique in their own way. You just gotta kind of pick which one fits you. And like I said, some of them have specialty S, which I haven't seen any of the um, four stars have a specialty S. So yeah, only four. Oh, actually, never mind. Then yeah, those really doesn't matter which character you use. Rarity makes. Absolutely no significant difference. It's just pretty much how rare it's going to be to get them from um, the summon. Let's just say that. So just pretty much use anything you feel like. So I'll see you guys right after this. Alright, so now we're on to the final stage of stage 2. Which is beating this guy up. Now this is supposedly the tank unit that I was talking about. You know, fighting him, he's he's a little bit tankier and aggressive, so yeah. Let's see how we do. Alright, he's gonna be already out there, just waiting for me. Now all I gotta do is destroy his tower or kill him. That's basically how uh, the one v ones work. Just letting you guys remember that. Yeah, I can't one-shot him like I did that other character. And I really want to get my... Uh... Okay, never mind. 
I was gonna say I really wanted to get my two. Ah, oh, I can't finish him off. I think I'll be able to finish him off at five. Probably earlier than that. Yeah, I got a little bit lucky. To be honest, either that or finish off a sour. He really didn't like it that I just went up there. Come here. There we go. His minions blocked him, so I was able to get him. Alright, to switch out characters, you would just have to um, actually go in into your, like, party and change them out. So you can't just, like, pick a character right off the bat, like a character selection screen or anything like that. It's a totally different MOBA from that. It's a little bit of adventure mixed with PvP, like I've said. So they're doing it a lot different. And equipment you go in with it too. And here is Party. I'm actually gonna use her instead. And I'll use her in that party. We'll put her as my second. Alright, done with the team. Now, if I really wanted to change gears, I could just go here and auto. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to actually look at their skills, um, the best way to do that would probably just go to shop. Click on whatever character you're, you feel like you want to learn, you know, learn more about. Uh, this guy looks pretty cool. You guys know I love owls. Now you can just put the video and it'll play. Now sometimes it won't play right away. You just have to wait and give it time. For some reason it's actually playing just fine. I remember last time I played this game. It took me like a long time to actually get these videos to play. Here is my favorite character so far. Like, she's literally a tank, and she has some really, really good utility. Uh, one of her moves are just to smack everyone back. Okay, here we go. So I can potentially get behind somebody and knock them into my tower. Then there is another one, which is pretty much grabbing distance. And dragging us to each other. Which I can also use tower to my advantage as well. And here is the ult she has. Like I said, it takes a little while for the videos to play. Yeah, it knocks through other targets to get to the target you had targeted. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite characters that I used like when I first started the game. But forgot to link my account and, you know, lost everything. I'll figure it out this time. Don't you worry. Oh, we can go ahead and grab all these. Sadly, not enough coins at the moment. But we're going to go into area three and we're going to show you guys a little bit more. Let's bring in her. So, this one's going to be a three on three so from what I know is they grab whatever characters in the first slot so you guys know it's the main character you use then three other supporting characters which are basically gonna be playing as AI and they do their own thing so they don't follow you around you don't have to pretty much babysit them the whole time they just pretty much fight by themselves <laughs> All right. 
It's funny because I don't know this character's skills, but I just wanted to use her. Now, these guys aren't permanently out. They'll come back. Oh, well. You're out. Yep, see? There they are. So this character is just like more projectile launch. Oh dear god, I'm dead. No! Run! Run back! Go! Go, you can make it! <laughs> oh, they, they finished it off before I... Well, I think I still died. <laughs> That's what I get for playing a little bit too aggressive, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, daring, I'm doing terribly this video. Let, let's blame it on the equipment I don't have anymore. <laughs> Alright, let me change characters because that one definitely doesn't fit me. I'm definitely interested in our Riding Hood character here. Uh, let's take... Well, actually... Yeah, save it. I wanted to take the gears off her and put it on... Nah. I don't think he's going to let me do that. Hold on. Let's save that. Where is she? Yeah, we're going to need you to cough with that sword. And... Give that to somebody else. So each gear does something different. Um, sadly, I don't know if there's like a Wikipedia or anything like that for this game. Because I've looked it up, tried to find, you know, some English translators or something like that. But I don't think they exist for this game, which is highly unfortunate. Really hope there will be some. But let's get into the next session. I guess we'll keep playing into our fourth stage. So these should be pretty easy. You guys don't have to worry about me dying now because I somewhat know this character. She is ranged, by the way. No, 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 don't chase. Now, you can't choose whatever target you want by just clicking here. Or you can just click on uh, enemy. So, clicking or tapping, whichever one you're using. Thank you. No, don't chase. Please. Please stop chasing. Alright. He, he's dead. For sure. Got him. So normally what I do for those... Ah. I thought I could reach him. What normally I want to do is my second skill and my first skill for this character. So that's exactly why I kind of want to get to level 2 or 3 as soon as possible. Definitely say I like this character's playstyle a lot better. I used her for a while on my o Oda account. This person has just maxed out everything, Jesus. And you do have stamina for how much you can play as well, which a lot of mobile games have that. Which, I don't get why this MOBA has that. But then again, hey. They chose to go with it. I'm not going to complain. Whatever they pick. It's still fun, overall. 
I really just hope it doesn't happen for like straight up PvP. She should be dead. And you're dead. I know you're gonna walk into her. I think it would be better to just tap for like whichever target you want to actually fight. Now there isn't mana either for this game. So you can use your skills as much as you want as long as they're off cooldown. Alright, one more match and we can just end it off there. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Now, you do get um, these little summoning tickets as well that you guys have been seeing me get. That you can get characters from. Alright, this is going to be our last match, guys. Then we're going to start wrapping up. Um, who's the strongest? You? Now then, this is going to be 5 on 5. Now that we're in pretty much a stronger area. We're now out of the, you know, training. I'm going to go mid. Now, if you do change lanes, your bots will change lane too. Unless they're already in the middle of fighting. And pretty much have already caused some damage to that lane. They'll start to stay. As soon as you gank, they'll stay in there too. And stay in with fight. They'll pretty much stay in and fight with you. What? You gotta be kidding me. You coward. You would run away. That's fine. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna have to dodge that. Get off me. Yeah, I knew you still had the stun to you. Can you not? Like that tank was tearing me up. Fantastic. Eat my mushroom. Or not. Never mind. Ah, okay, you guys saw me clicking, right? Yeah, your character doesn't want to go wherever you, like, uh, try to pull them to. So you gotta actually hold down if you guys want to actually move. It's actually pretty annoying. There's some, there's some, like, real downfalls to the game, but... But then again, eh, some of them you can look past. I was about to say, I'm gonna go help you down here with those towers, but, okay. Whatever, man. You got it. You don't need my help. Wow. I'm self-healing more than... <laughs> more than they're doing damage. I guess because of the sword I got. I could definitely nuke a character that comes to me, especially with my ability. <laughs> Just annihilate him. 
I don't think the top needs help because that's where the five star dude is. So she's gonna be taking him out pretty easily. Wait, what? There's not a okay. So I gotta go around. The weirdest jungle ever, I can say that. Like there's so many places you think you could just run over. I got her. Oh god. Game. Please, chill. And you're dead. Wait, is everybody just up here? Oh, the five star was at the bottom. I was wondering how the hell top lane was wrecking then. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely a game I like to play when I'm, like, really bored. I've also said I wish they would hurry up with Global. Definitely hoping I, they hurry up with Global. Now then, let's go see what I got in those, uh, summoning tickets. So I got three of them. Ah, it's a three star. No characters. Another three star. Jeez, man. I'm not having any luck. Last one. Nah, just another three star. And it's already one hour and a half. That gives me a step closer to uh, just buying one of them. So, yeah, guys. That's what I'm going to leave it here. And hope you guys enjoyed. Till then, peace out. Oh, yeah. If you guys do want to try out this game, it's on the Q app. Which you guys are going to have to download and install. And once you get the Q app. Uh, hold on. There is an English Q app, by the way. Yeah, I know. I I was just going to show you guys this way <laughs> because that was already on um, the crown game. You just go to search, type in Odin crown. It should pop up and it'll take you straight there. If you guys are looking for any other games that are in English that the Google store won't have to offer, you guys can go to games, go to filter, go to other regions. There are quite a few games in here that the Google App Store doesn't, like, have and that are in English. And there are other Japanese games in here that the Google App just can't have access to at the moment just because they're Japanese and aren't ready for the Google App. So, yeah. With that said, guys, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace out. Swear it's going to get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose